still around, yeah. That's right. 54 machine, you know. Yeah. I remember when they bought it too, you know. Remember when they what? When they uh, when uh, O'Connell brought this new. Oh really? They bought it and they had a shovel attachment on. And they bought it with the independent boom hoist too. Right. Oh yeah, that you is rare it's rare to find internet internet inter, uh, independent boom hoist on these machines because it costs a lot of extra money, different drum shafts and everything, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, you'll see it. I'll have to show you how it works, you know? Yeah. 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 But uh here's here's your swing lever right here. Push it forward, you swing that way, and bring it back, you swing that way. And when you swing there, you're gonna use your left hand clutch to stop you from swinging. One against the other, you understand? That's how this works, right? It does when you let your hands all it just doesn't stop, it'll keep on swinging. If right, it's so you have momentum. to swing the yeah. opposite yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. And this here is your hoist clutch. You, when you, you pull you pull this lever and this brake goes with it, see? Yep. So here here's your hoist clutch in here, see? Here's your clutch on there. And there's your brake drum, see? And here's your brake band, see? Okay. There's the brake band. So your drum is independent from the clutch and this here, right? Mm -hmm. The drum goes down, it's got the cable on it, you understand? Right. When you when you let the brake off, where's the button? I don't know if we go down. No. It, it's frozen. Yeah. It's, it's stuck to it, right? Because that's been used. Yep. You can see it move though. Yeah, you know, we haven't used it, we haven't used it in probably a couple of years because the what I hoist with is on the one on the left hand side, see? I don't use that one, see? You would if you had a bucket on it, you know, that'd be your drag, see? And, and so, this, yeah, okay. And this one over here on the left side, that goes with it. There's your holding, holding the line. That's what picks the bucket up, your line there, see? With a four-part line. And here's the brake that goes with it, see? Won't come down with it. No. That's so because so with the crane, you're using you're using this lever that's to That's uh, right, to, to, pick hoist. The, to yep. hoist the bucket up, yeah. All right. And here's the brake that goes with it, right? Right, the left hand, yeah. left side brake. Yeah. Okay, then when you go to the center here, this is your independent boom hoist, right? You pull that back and you'll boom up, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to let the brake off, but it'll, it'll stay right there, see? So to let the boom down, you let off on this one here, and you, it, it, the water's not running. It's, it going, it's going down a little bit, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, look, look yeah, at this. Isn't that something, huh? Now there, there's, a, there's a lock up here, see? To the dog. They, it's oh, frozen. Okay. It's not working. When you when you let this dog off, the dog the dog catches it, so you can't let it down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, so so this I just realized this has three brake pedals. Yeah. Well, that it have to be. So good. the far left is is for the for the this lever. The for far the, right, right is for There's this your, lever here, and the middle the, lever is for the independent, independent boom. Independent boom hoist. Okay. The brake and and that lever go for the independent boom hoist. Yeah. This okay. is a rare. It's a rare to see for, uh, four of them like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, All right. and and what's the, this is what was that the house lock? No, no, no. That, that's your steering. Oh, okay. Right. You take it out. It's right now. It's in travel right now. See it? You look back to you take it. You t you push it all down here, and you gear this from right here. And that now it's in travel, right? It's in travel. So so you go forward here or backward, right? One way or the other. See. Now if you want to want to steer it, you got to hold it down and, and work it a little bit, and and the and the jaw clutch will go in down on the travel shaft. Right. You understand? Yeah, you pull up and steer one way and push it down. And then right now it's in the middle. It's in the, like a neutral. Yeah, right? so so both yeah. both will travel. Down you go either way straight. you want. Yeah. yeah. And when you want to start, you got to like gear it a little bit. And the jaw clutch will get in down there, so it'll make it steer. Okay. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. So these these uh, three levers here and this lever here, what 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 do they operate? Like I told you, this year this uh, okay. No, mind you, it's in travel. So to go back to swing again, what you do. Right, is you push this one down and you gear this one. Now you can swing with it. You can swing either way. You understand? You let oh, that so, one. So, so this one. Yeah, take it out. So up is travel and down is. That is neutral. Is neutral. Down is oh. neutral. Down is neutral. Right. Okay. Right now it's like a neutral. It can't. It can't swing. Right. See? Okay. And then this one, to swing, you pull it up into that. That's notch. right. You 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 got to gear it in with your lever. You understand? Okay. You got to gear it in. See. Yeah. Okay. And there is your boom hoist, right? But you don't, this doesn't have a boom hoist because it's got an independent it's boom hoist. So you, so you just ignore that? Yeah, I ignore that. But it had, the, most machines... But if this, was, if this was a live boom machine, you would use that lever, right? Is that, is that the right term? No, right or, now, right now it was almost a live boom. You let the brake off the boom, it just fall right down, right? Right. right? But the only thing, it, it might, it can only fall down so fast because 
of the uh, it's got a planetary on it and right. allow it to only go down as, as, as fast it's got, as it's it's got a sun gear and a little yeah. gear got, has to go through that system right so that holds it off see and here's your main clutch right here see you always throw that off when you get right. off the machine you always throw it off that shuts off your gear train going to your drum shaft, your swing shaft, in the gear case, yeah? And what about this? And there's your house lock. That's, oh, that's a house lock. That's your okay. house lock. But, you know, they're... they're the it's just a brake band or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's about it. It's, it's brake shoes. There's brake shoes on it. Go, okay. It's got brake shoes. about maybe about four of them, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And how about this this lever down here? Oh, there, that's your travel brake. You push that down and you push that, push it down with your heel. Oh, there's a foot so, pedal yeah, there. Yeah, well, you know, they, so they just, somebody just had that idea, right? Rather than reach way down there. I remember yep. when I was a little boy, my father, would, he'd have to reach way down there to get that, to pull yeah. that up on my little stick. But look, at some guy designed this idea. I put this thing on, see? And this will push it. You take your heel, look at that, push it up. So if, you're, so if you're on a hill traveling, if you stomp on that, you'll, you won't roll down. Or is it... So so. It's not good. <laughs> if you're going to go up a real steel brake, you, 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 I'll show you on your travel. You push your dog in. You can only go one way. If you're going oh, okay, up the hill, you, don't right. go, you can't go back because the dog won't allow you. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's if you want an awful a steep hill, you don't want to lose the machine. You know. So, so, that's, that's, so that's just a friction brake. That pedal. Th that's all. There. Yeah. Well. If you went down, if you went down in the pan down there, there's brake shoes all the way around in a circle, and they get all oil and grease on them. And it, it doesn't not, work too it's well. Not a, it's not a perfect thing, you know. Mm -hmm. when, when they're when they're new, they work good, but I don't know. I, I never been. Yeah. I don't care much for them. You know, but uh, you're on level ground, you have no problem. You know what I'm yep. talking about? Yeah, most yeah. of this is flat anyway. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So now, if this machine didn't have independent boom hoist. You, you, would, you would pull that up? Yeah, and, well, and you throw that out, and, and you gear this one in. And then which lever would operate the boom? Which lever? Your swing lever. Your swing lever, your swing lever okay. Your swing lever does three things. It travels the machine, it booms up, and b b swings the machine back and forth. Okay. It does three jobs. By, there's a deck gear down there by gearing into that deck gear. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. That's what it is. And, and, I'll, and I'll show you. Probably don't get it today because over the other side. Yeah. It's down inside. There's a little gear. When you when you pull that up, that pushes it down into the deck here, the big decker, and that engages that, which turns a worm worm uh, boom hoist. You know. All right. Yeah. All right. So again, so this is swing. Yeah. It's in. It's out right it's now. Out, it's yeah. in there. Yeah. It'll be in, in swing. It'll go into swing. And that's in travel and right that's now. That's got to be. That's got to be out when you so, swing. Yeah. So if you wanted to swing, you'd click yeah. that down yeah. and click this up, and you'd swing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Main engine clutch. Yeah. Uh, swing brake? Yeah, house locker. They call it house locker. House locker, house locker swing brake, I don't care. And then a travel brake down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and your travel brake, yeah. yeah. You know, once you, once you run this machine, you'll pick all this stuff up. Yeah. There's no problem with it. It's, it's a mechanical device, that's what <laughs> it is. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why it's still around. That's right. Imagine, 1954 machine, huh? Huh? Picked up that big engine, didn't it? Huh? Yeah, the Fairbanks, yeah, sure. no problem. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, this machine is for sure. You know, you take these hydraulic machines, they're not for sure. You know that, don't you? So they're not for sure. Uh -huh. you, know. <laughs> you know, you know, like, like the hydraulics, right? This is the thing about the hydraulics. To pick up anything, you got a, you got a chart. They have a chart right here. They have a chart, the hydraulic. And you have to go by that chart before you can pick up the load because you'll tip the machine over. Oh, yeah. Now, to let the line, line down on the on a hydraulic machine, you push the lever forward, right, and, it'll, and it goes over. But if, if you're tipping over, you cannot get free fall. Okay. There's no free fall. It'll just carry the machine right over with it. Uh-huh. That's why I tell guys, when, well, hydraulic, when you pick up something and you got to swing, go around within a foot or two of the ground. So if you start to tip, So if it does tip, ground, it'll touch ground quick. Yeah. yeah. These guys pick it up and they swing around and, they, and then they, they're they starting to tip over and they let off in the thing and they can't, it'll carry them right over. Yep. It's, that's what it does. It carries them right over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you going to do, huh? <laughs> this is what it is, yeah. yeah. And here's your All booster. Right. Here's your boosters here. See? Booster bands for booster the... Band. When you pull this here, you'll see I pull that one tight. See it? Yep. Now that's turning, so it has that action like a brake on your car. It helps turn the, right. the band around at the same time. It pulls the lever up at the same time. It helps you, right? So this band helps engage the clutch, that, right? That, that engages it, helps you engage yeah. it. Yeah. And you push it out, and it'll kick it out, see? And there's one band for hoist and one for in-haul? Yeah, there, the, uh, yeah, see that one yeah. there? Yeah. It's a mechanical idea, that's mm -hmm. what it is, see? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, All right. It's, and then there's there's adjustments on these just like the other yeah, brakes. Yeah. And, and, I, and I'll show you that. It has to have about a 7 16th clearance. You see, all machines don't have this thing on this side. The reason why this is on this side because they got the independent boom hoist. On the other side? On the other machine there, then, then this band here is on the other side. This, uh -huh. this one here is on this side, but the, the band for the, What it is, is you see the shaft here? See the shaft here? Yep. See, that shaft goes in probably to there and works a toggle. You understand? That's what engages your clutch. I don't know if you uh huh. Can, I don't know if you can't see when you. See, when you uh. pull that out, right? Yeah, I can't you, see it in there, but... Yeah, I know. When yeah. you pull this out, you tighten the band, and that helps you put the clutch in. You understand? Yep. Through like a centrifugal action, right? Now, the, now there's another one. See this one here? See this right here? Can you see my finger? This one? Yeah, right, my this, you, you yeah. See, see this shaft? This shaft goes all the way to the other side. Okay. And works the clutch on the other side. Oh, so, so there's two shafts inside yeah, there. Yeah, one inside the other. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So this one, this shaft here only goes into there, and then you got the other, then it goes inside this other one here that goes all the way to the other side. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, I understand now. Yeah, yep. yeah. And you said for the brake adjustment, it's 7 sixteenths of inch? Oh. Oh, you need Somewhere? A, you need, when you when you adjust this here, clutch, it, it's pretty hard right now. Because, you know. Yeah, you you. I think you pull this pin out here, and that and that and you'll pull that lever down. It'll be disconnected from here, and what it'll do, it'll pull this down, and there's a there's a shoulder, there's a shoulder right about in where my finger is. So it's got to have set when it's got seven sixteenths. It's the right clearance. I'll show you on probably another time where you yeah. can, we can get in. It's pretty pretty hard to get in right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. About seven. They 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 really want seven sixteenths so the the clutch can't go over side and lock itself in. Okay. No. And when she goes over center, she she'll have a clearance, right? Right. Other than that, if she if she didn't have a clearance, it would, it would keep right on. It would pull hard on that mm -hmm. drum there. See, no drum. Yeah. yeah. See, that, that's a one-piece drum in here, see? Whereas where the other machines, they got a single, like the shovel's got a one-piece. You, you'll see the shovel. The shovel's the old style. Mm -hmm. You don't have the independent on the shovel, see? Yeah. Yeah. I remember that the, the 25 over there has, has two of these on one side, though. The gas 25, anyway. The gas 25? I, had, I, I gotta remember I'll on have to that. go take a look I, at I, it. I'm not sure whether it had two on one side at all. But the ones with the independent boom hoist, they always had two drums. But then they, they could have they could have done that. Yeah, mm -hmm. they could have done it. Yeah. Well, they got to realize these are different years. You know? Yeah. They had different ideas. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, it, and here's your swing shaft in here. Here's your swing shaft. You see, you got the shaft goes up. You got helical gears here. And they, oh, helical. And that turns your swing shaft. And the swing shaft's got a gear over there, which turns a big bull gear. You understand? Mm -hmm. Turns the bull gear, which and lets you work your clutches. You know? See? Yeah. And here's your hoist brake adjustment right here. See it? Yep. Well, okay. And, and you got one and up the other, there. The other you got one the other, right over there. It's at an angle like that. Yeah, yeah I see. It. Going over there. Yeah. 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 And here's your swing clutches. See them in there? And I'm going to have to show you about those swing clutches, how to change up to them. Yeah, and how they work. Yeah, you said the swing clutches. It was was like a cone clutch, right? No, Just like they, a male and female cone that kind of fits no, together. No, no, these are these are a straight. These are a straight clutch. They're about there's a high lining on this side, lining on that side, and and they stick in there. Here, here they are. They're stuck in there. Now they stick in about halfway, and that's your driver. See your driver there. This, yeah, this that's your driver. outside part there. Yeah, yeah, that's your driver. You take that off, and it'll come out, right? You understand? It'll come uh -huh. out. So when you put them together, what you do. It, on, on the inside, right? Yeah, you loosen, you loosen your, you loosen this collar first. Here's your, here's your adjustment for your swing, right? See, there's a bolt here and a bolt there. When you turn it around, and you loosen, it. and that screws off. That screws off. That, okay. That loosens your drum there. See? How do you screw that off? With a big pipe wrench or something? Or no, chain, or? no, you, you should. You can probably do it by hand. Oh, okay. If, if, if the machine's running all the time, you just loosen the bolt. And it's in two halves, and throw a little bit of oil down on the threads on it. You can turn it off. You know? oh, okay. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll show you about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, this is what's happened on that the crane down there. You see that? You see the driver on there? That's the driver. It's right. into it's into these teeth. Yeah. Well, it's it's almost frozen in there because the machine hasn't been run. Yeah. So when that happens, the clutch wants to engage it. It wants to swing the machine all the time. You got to hold your hand in the lever because they want to keep swinging. Uh huh. Because of the fact that there's no play in there, that thing is like frozen in there. You know. You know, the worst thing in the mechanical machine, let them sit. They they got to be run to be free. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. this driver like uh, will move in and out or up and down or something. No, that to, driver. Just... All that driver holds the clutches in. Okay. Yeah. There's four bolts that hold that driver on. You can. I'll have to show you yeah. over there. There's one here and there's one on the other side. So these swing cuts are like uh, two halves, right? Mm -hmm. See, one half is, is say six into that one there and six into the other. And that's what keeps them to, keeps them hooked up together. Okay. See? Yeah. So what you'll do, right? To take the clutch out, you loosen this up. Loosen up good. Plenty of, plenty of slop. You turn that around so that's on top, right? See that so driver? So that's like the right, driver, right up top it's, there. Yeah, it's up on top. Yep. Now there's three bolts on there. You loosen them till they have just maybe a less than a, a turn to go loosen up. Just so they won't, uh -huh. the nut won't fall out. That doesn't make them free. Then you turn it over and you, and you take the other one on the top and you take all, and you take the driver right off of there, mm -hmm. right? So when that happens, then you can take half of it and you can you can shuffle it and get it right out of there. You can take it right out. You can okay. take it right out. You can pull it right out and do the same with the other. And then when you want to replace them, you you put it down there and and you'll keep shuffling. This is going to be loose, mind you. So you can get it in halfway. There's about five or six on each side, mm -hmm. half and half. That's where the then you turn it around and and put the the driver on top of it, you know, right in the center there, and tighten it up, that's all. And then all you gotta do is adjust your clutch, you know? Okay. Yeah. So you have to take this cover off. Well, that flops so up, that flops up. Just flips that, up, that okay. That flops up, yeah, yeah. And you, and you said it was two halves, like a half a pie slice, it slips down in there. The, the, isn't that funny? The, the, yeah, that, there's two drivers, they, they okay. call those drivers, yeah. yeah. Remember I told you, you loosen one, so it's plenty loose, so you can shuckle them off inside there. Because, right. you know, it's a little tight to get in there, see? But, but if that thing, Pulls away, then you can get the you can get the teeth out of there. See, mm -hmm. see the teeth are like engage into that driver. Right. right yeah. Right yeah, there. Yeah. They engage into it. See. But those, I don't know if you were down my house. You saw all the swing clutches I had piled up. I probably saw them, but yeah, I didn't really didn't know notice them. Yeah. 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 Well, I got to pile them down. They need to be they need to be relined. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 And you guys could reline them up here. You, mm -hmm. you, uh, you can still you can still get the lining for them. Yeah. Gerhardt's got it. Um, there might be a couple other companies headline. They they must have somebody that supplies it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so it's like a is it a a a, a break ba a band a flat, or a shoe a flat, or a, a flat, it's a big flat lining and it's already pre-drilled. Flat. Okay, so like flat. So like, like a regular like like a truck clutch, automotive clutch, a probably, disc, yeah, a flat yeah, disc. Like a, yeah, you're right, just like a disc. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And it's got all it's got all the holes for the rivets in it, you know. Okay. Yeah. Oh sure. Yeah. So that, no, that, that, right. there's a lot to, uh, mm -hmm. involved in here, you know. Yeah. But remember, uh, remember what I said though. You see the drum here, the drum, this drum here. There's yep. your brake and there's your clutch. If you went down over there and, and the lag is on there with the cable wrapped around, it's got bushings on the drum shaft. Right. Remember, it has the bushings wear right. They get a little sloppy. You understand? In fact, what happens now? Is if the bushings wear a little, this drum is going to like fall down a little bit and it's going to hit that band. You understand? It's mm -hmm. going to hit that band and the band ain't going to want to turn freely. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you let the brake off, it won't want to, get, it's going to drag on there. But if that was on Barron's right, then it wouldn't change. So, you know, I'm talking about Barron's yep. are good, but bushings wear, and this, the bushings are worn on this one, I assume, right? And that's why the drum sits down on that a little bit. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah. And here's your brake band here. That brake band's in two pieces, see? Right, I remember yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's not, they're, not, they're not a little hard to work on, but once you do it, you just make up your mind you gotta do it, that's all, yeah. And how about lubrication? Aside from like all the obvious grease cirques and everything, are there oil cups and stuff that you have to well, fill, or? Well, the swing shaft has got grease fittings on the inside there. So you have I, to flip I, this cover yeah. up and go in there? Yeah, but you gotta turn it around. So what I thought about doing, right, I get somebody here, right, we can line the grease and take some paint. And you mark paint. it so you know where yeah. it is. So if you're standing here by yourself and you turn around and you see the white things yep. on the top here, you'll know you can get those grease right. in. Other than that, you get up there, you gotta get off and you know, try and move yeah. it. And it's all guesswork. It's a pain, yeah. Well, when you had an oiler, it was no problem because you could be in the seat there and you could turn it for him. And he'll just he, yell at he, you he when can, you're he, done. Well, yeah. he can sit right here and he can tell you when it's right. Exactly, yeah. yeah. See, that's the difference. 
That's why they had oils on the machine. You know? mm -hmm. I see. An, I see a oil cup or something over there in the middle. What's yeah? There's an oil cup there. That on your uh, your center pin on your vertical uh, travel shaft. They have a washer or a jaw clutch down there, and that oils that up. Okay. It's a drip. It's a drip deal. It's something not important. And, Just, there's, and there's another one on the, on the swing shaft too. There's, there's a drip thing. Even though you got the grease fittings, but mm -hmm. they figured you should have one there too. Yeah. So most everything on this machine is just a, a, a greaser that you pump oh, up every it, so often. It, oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> a lot Man, of them. Imagine running this machine all day long and on the tracks, 1,800 pumps with a greaser, pumps with a greaser, and the greaser tracks. And then just the tracks? Just the tracks. Yeah. The, well, look at the tracks, 50 shots, and your boxes, right? Wow. Two boxes, 100 shots right and off the bat, what, right? that's what, per day? Yeah, every day, yeah. Imagine running this machine all day long, grease. That's a lot of grease, too. Yeah, oh, that's damn right, it's a lot of grease, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And, and grease the boom, too, you know? Mm -hmm. I used to do that all by myself, right? And then I fuel the machine, right? Go home <laughs> and make supper, right? Do the dishes, right? I did all that, you know? That's all gone, they can't do it anymore. 